Okay, whew, so little secret I'm gonna let you guys in on. We've not had TV for the last year, more than a year. We actually have a satellite. We have satellite TV through Direct TV, and it's, it was great when we had it, and then it stopped working, and they told us, oh, well maybe you just need to get a new satellite dish, which is like ridiculously expensive, so we said, screw it, we don't need TV. And we really don't, for the most part, we've gone without any kind of TV, and it's wonderful. But there has been times where we want to know what's going on in the world with the news and everything like that, especially now. But um, it's also nice for the kids when we're underway and they just want to watch cartoons and, and whatnot. We don't need it, it's not crucial, but we have it and we pay for the service, so we might as well get it working. Long story short, we found out after way too much diagnostics with some techs, uh, and then none of them solving the problem. <laughs> we found out it might be as simple as changing a $5 belt on our satellite dish. So we're gonna go up right now and do just that. So that's the backstory of why we're on the top of our boat. I'm Brooke and this is Brayden. We have two kids and two dogs, Rooney, Penn, Frazier, and Captain. At 75 tons and 55 feet long, our home is different. With time being non-renewable and our home being, well, movable, around the world we go as we roam to know. Welcome aboard, Mermaid Monster. Some refer to the slow parts of life as the calm before the storm. Well, my friends, this couldn't be more true for us. The next few weeks have a whole lot of crazy packed into them. Some big secrets we will get to share, life milestones completed, and future cruising plans are all ahead. But for now, enjoy the everyday boat life with us. Oh, I could go. Is this the Golden Gateway? <laughs> Happy birthday! Wow, thank you. you it doesn't make noise. Mm -hmm. I had a broken one. Mom! Mama! Mama! The best boat is a giant balloon! Oh my. Careful. Come on. Okay, you can't come all the way up here with me though. I might need to hand you the camera before I climb to my death. Oh. Right. It's not the right belt. It's not the right belt? What did I say? So it's not gonna be the right belt. It so never is. It's hard to find the right belt on this one. What? It's hard to find the right belt. Can't you just cut it down and make it the right belt? <laughs> no, it's too short. It's supposed to be. Can you just add to it? I don't think so. <sighs> All right, well, this boat behind us, the one right next to us here, that catamaran, they're gone. So now we can finally get the tender down and it's been a while since we've had it in the water, since uh, before we left. So it'll be fun to get it down. Um, it needs to get cleaned up a little bit because we've got the boat detailed, it's just a little bit of compound in there. So I'm gonna get it down, clean it up, and we will be good to go. Okay. room for our mantis anchor kit to fit in there. Huh. Throughout these next few episodes, we will complete a more detailed and technical tour of this Highfield 460 Sport. But for now, we wanted to do a speed test. Enjoy, you guys. We got up to like 35, almost 40 miles an hour on her. Of ours. 
the network connection that is. What'd you do with the candles? <laughs> Grab it in the candle. And almost you almost burn, killed burn, it. Burn, burn, burn. <laughs> you don't understand. That scared me to death. You got our frisbee. Well, we need to get all of our stuff for our like park time is what we call it. Okay, so let's see, what do we need? Oh, I got a bag. We'll do this bag. It's big enough, right? <laughs> All right, throw it in. We got a glove, a bat, baseball, frisbee, another bat, soccer ball, what else? And a T-ball stand. This is quite the amount of toys. We're ready. It focuses on your eyeball. We're ready to go now. Yeah? We're ready. Kay. Mom, it's focusing on my eyeball. Okay, let's go, dude. Uh. I'm trying to touch the states this time. 2021. Yeah, show them I can still rap though. Now I'm in the game, I was on the bench. On the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bands. Spending all the back like here I go again. Outside says the chirp, now the camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Eight day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say nah. My city gritty, you could get hit any day now. Nah. Oh my mama, I'm a more friendly way. I realize that I put in some of these tender moments of our life, and they're not strictly boat related. Some of you might like that, and some of you might not. But you have to remember this is our journal, and I want to remember right, these I'm tender coming. moments and milestones that our kids are going through. So hang tight. Me. Try to enjoy. I roll G's and they grind me. Now I'm on my game, nothing is the same. Pull them out of blame, money made me change. Cardi in my rain when I'm switching lanes. Money in the carry on them boring planes. Money in the carry on them boring planes. Now I got a buck for all those rainy days. Ain't have a day off in like 80 days. I got hustles in like 80 ways. Kids, if you won't take a lazy day, wife, you want me to me take a break. I keep going to the paper street. Then it's trips up to my table, babe. If I take the job, bet I get it done. I said it before, I'm a one on one. I just caught some ones, only wearing ones. Fun to kick the funds, money made me come. Diamonds on your neck, bet they on your neck. You want that watch, you better rock the back. You want that chain, you better cop a vest. You 
want the check, but can you make it stretch? Oh, dang it. Nice. I can skip it. <laughs> okay, Pen, let's see you hit it. All right, so the chalks are going in right now, and it, it, it'll be nice because the boat is going to be 100% proper, secured, and everything on there. Um, it's nice to have it done and really have it snug in there. It was a little off before with the old jocks on there. So, and one step closer to getting out of here. All right, we're about to get the new tender jocks installed here. So it'll be nice to have it all done. Have this thing officially on here and secure. insisted that I show you his mad biking skills and you guys he's okay. freaking good and it scares me it to death me? but anyway enjoy this everyone go comment over on our community section and give him a high five Fitting loose here and makes it stick a little bit. A fitting for what? This is the propane. So not not one that you want to be loose, huh? Uh yeah, no. <laughs> so this is what we do. We think we're gonna go to bed and then we're doing this. We just got back from the pool and running some errands, grocery store and stuff, and when I walked into the boat, the whole boat just smelled like very strong of propane, even to the point where outside of the boat smelled like propane, which is not a comforting feeling at all. And so Brayden insisted that we wait and do it tomorrow, and I said no, because it freaks me out that the boat is leaking propane. So he's uh, working on it right now. You think that's gonna fix it? Yeah. Was it loose? Yeah, I could. Oh, yeah, it, it, it can be a tighter. So I took it apart and put it all back together. Is that, you? so you think it's not like the line itself isn't cracked or anything? Um, I can check that next. Okay, that would make me feel better. And then out here, we have the kids, Rooney and Penn, and our friend's cat followed us all the way from the other docks, which are really far at this marina. And he so my know kid's got a box for Tico. Wait, where's Tico? Wait. Oh, Tico, come here. Tico's right here, this little black cat, super friendly. Where'd you go, Tico? And so Tico, Tico followed us like a half a mile to our boat. I told the owners that their cat's gonna like sleep at our house tonight, I guess. So Penn's always wanted a cat, so tonight is the night he gets to uh, pretend to own a cat, apparently. Oh, you guys, we need to get you guys to bed. Tico, what are you doing, honey? What you doing, buddy? You're living your best life as a dog cat? All right, good night, I'm going to bed. The kids have made you a nice house. Right here. 
Up oh, some sand toys there. And a pillow and sand toys. Because all cats love sand toys, right? No, we're gonna do that. No, we're gonna pick this up. Don't know. Oh, no. them up. Just don't ruin our bungee by tying too many knots. As always, thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, give us a like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. You guys, we'll see you all next week, along with all the crazy.